everybody, this is Caitlin here and today I want to do a little vlog for Geeky Sunday. Um, this vlog is going to be just talking about my time at the Tokyo Toys Glasgow Grand Opening which was yesterday since today is technically Sunday. Um, I was going to like record a couple of things on the day or whatever but um, uh, as it turned out, uh, it turned out like there wasn't really much for me that I felt like I could record because um, the event kind of like kicked off at two o'clock and I didn't really like I looked at the event page and it said like 1,000 people going and I was just like 1,000 people can't surely turn up in the middle of Glasgow on Union Street for the store opening. Uh, well, I was very wrong. I'm not quite sure if it did reach a thousand people or whatever, but there was a lot of people. Like, um, there was actually just like a huge queue going along Union Street and like there was two separate queues. There was a queue for like normal people. Uh, n normal people. <laughs> normal people. And there was also a birthday queue. If like your birthday was in April, you were in a separate queue and like I think, I don't know how they were working it. Um, it was kind of, we weren't quite sure how it was working in order to get in. I think they were doing like one from the normal queue and then like one group from the April queue and it was going back and forth, back and forth. But um, we ended up queuing for like maybe four hours and I was just like, I, did, I felt like there wasn't really much I could record because like, literally we were all the way back. We were like pretty much past the train, like Central Station train station, if you know where Glasgow is or whatever, you know what I'm talking about. But literally we were just like slowly and slowly and slowly getting to the front and I was just like, there's not really much to record. I was in cosplay um for like maybe the first hour. I was in my Naruto cosplay, but um, as I got to an hour and like I was getting, like my head was getting quite sore and irritated from my wig and my hat and everything. And you know, it was kind of like raining kind of on and off, just spitting and I was just like, I can't be bothered, so I went and got cheat. Like my uh, my boyfriend and friends held the light at the bit in the queue, and uh, I ran off and got changed, uh, and uh, came back, and I was like, I felt a lot better, but it was just like a, quite a long time, and I was worried because um, on the Facebook page it said it would only be open from two till seven, and I was thinking, God, what if we've queued so long and we don't actually get in? That would be just be an absolutely horrible end to the day, but um, we did eventually get in. I can't remember what time. I think it was about maybe six o'clock by the time we got in we started queuing at two and pretty much we didn't get until like six so like I was a good four hours in line and I was just like is this what it's like to be at a American Comic Con you know but um I, I really wanted to get in because I was just like it, you know the hype of the day is like oh you want to be in there and everything like that and I was quite happy once we did get in I, I ended up getting like a cupcake for uh I was like they were playing music or whatever and they had like the Pika girls dancing and all that stuff and I was having a little dance to myself and they were like oh great keep dancing and we'll give you a cake and I was just like I feel guilt tripped and keep on dancing but I did and I got a cupcake which was really nice I took quite a lot of photos like instead of taking videos so if you want to see the photos I took um I'll link down to my Instagram page you can see all the photos that I took but yeah I did finally get in and uh, I bought a couple of things I didn't buy a lot of stuff like there's your Tokyo Toys bag there I didn't buy a lot of things but I, I did buy a couple of things so I thought I'd share with you what I got um I did get um I got quite a couple of packets of Pocky. I've, I think I've only got one in my bag right now because I took one, I was working today, I took one to work to eat in my break. So um, I've devoured a box of Pocky already, but you know, you have to buy a Pocky or whatever when you get Tokyo Toys. It's like the thing to do. But oh, also they were doing, um, to try and like, you know, keep people entertained in the queue, they were doing like anime quizzes. Like they were going up and down the line, and, like getting you in your groups of friends or whatever, and you can do an anime quiz. And I, my group ended up winning the anime quiz. So we got a little badge saying, Quiz genius! Well, Tokyo Toys quiz genius. It looks backwards in the camera right now, but hopefully it'll be the right way up when uh, I uh, upload this picture. Uh, picture? Upload this video, even. So, that was quite nice. I got um, the question right about um, what food is Ryuk obsessed with, and I was like, apples! That was like the only question I actually knew the answer to. The other ones were like to do with bleach, um, love live, and I think there was a Tokyo Toys related question as well. I didn't know the answers, and I was just like, I will contribute to something in this quiz, but I know Death Note, so that made me happy. So I got that, I got the Pocky, and then what else did I get? I got, uh, I finally got Tokyo Ghoul. I have been looking for this series on DVD for the longest time. Uh, for some reason, it was meant to have released, I'm pretty sure, last year on DVD, and yet nowhere I could find was actually stocking it. I was like... I knew, like, you know, I could probably get it on Amazon, but I don't, I'm not, I'm a bit iffy about ordering from Amazon or whatever, but I've been looking everywhere because I prefer to buy DVDs in hand. I don't know why, it's just this thing that I have. Like, I'm fine ordering games online, but whenever I buy DVDs, it's like I want to have it in my hand to look at it. So, I finally got season one of Tokyo Girl. I am so behind. This has, like, been one of the biggest hit animes ever since 
I don't know, but it's like one of the biggest animes right now or whatever, or has been, and I'm just like, I'm so behind, so I'll need you like catch up on this and find out what all the hype is, because I see all the cosplays and stuff, and I'm just like, I don't know anything other than that there's ghouls and they eat people, and that's pretty much it. So I need you like actually do some research and find out what this whole thing is about, but I'm glad I managed to get this DVD. What was the other thing I got? Oh, and the other thing that I got was a Beomon plush. Like, uh, Tokyo Toys just had, like, a huge wall of plushes, and I was just, like, amazed by it. So I'll open this up so you can have a look at it. Uh, I was kind of sad that they didn't have a Gatamon plush, because I would totally would have bought a Gatamon one. But, you know, I'm happy with the Beomon one, which is so cute if I just take it out there. Look how fluffy and big it is. It's, like, so adorable. You don't get many Digimon plushes, which is what I was saying in my, um my last Super Geek Stuff uh, video where I was like talking about Digimon plushes and stuff, but look how cute this is. I love Beomon. I totally want to get like a big Gatomon one because, um, where is it actually? Do I have it here? Because the only one I have, if it's actually here, the only Gatomon plush I have is this tiny one and it's a little bit derpy looking because of his big eyes and whatever, but um, I want like a kind of like one this size so that um, when I do my Kari cosplay, it looks a bit more, um, it looks a bit more right because holding the Gatamon like that size, it doesn't look right for the cosplay. But I'm so glad I got this Bo1 plush. It's so cute. It's so soft and like you know you can flap its little arms about because you know she's a bird. And you know I was really happy to get this plush at the very least. They had just like a huge wall of plushes, and I was just like, what one do I get? But I was kind of wanting a Pokemon one, but um, the they didn't have any um. I was gonna say they didn't have any Vaporeons or Eevees left, sadly. So I thought I'd leave that. So I got Bo1. And uh, is there anything else in this bag? I don't think I got anything. And then they, I think the, the rest of it was just like little flyers I got in my bag. Um, so like there's a little card from the Tokyo Toys Glasgow Grand Opening with Coco, the monkey in his kilt. And um, what's this? Reviewing Japanese. And then I think this is this this is where they get their uh, stuff for uh, Japanese snacks and stuff. So like there's a little business card there. And obviously, uh, I think they were giving away goodie bags as well, like, for other people. So, like, Neo Magazine, if you're in the UK, um, what else is there? And Man Presto, I think, for figurines and stuff. They had a lot of, like, uh, Dragon Ball figurines and stuff. There's one thing I totally wanted to get, and I'm so upset that I couldn't get it, is, um, I, they had, um, a, like, a display case full of, like, Figmas and Nendoroids and stuff, and they had a Sasuke Kirin, uh, Figma from Kill la Kill, and I'm so sad I didn't get her, because she was, like expensive she was like 75 pound and I was just like I was crying inside I was like I want it so much but I can't get it so that was my experience at the Tokyo Toys Glasgow Grand Opening if you want to see pictures and stuff that I took on the day you can check out in my Instagram I'll link it below in the description and let me know guys what you think of what I bought from Tokyo Toys and whether you'd like me to maybe do like a little vlog or whatever just showing you inside it and stuff sometime it was very busy so I couldn't really like whip out my camera and like start recording everything it was a bit quite busy but um also let me know if you guys are in Glasgow when you went to the Tokyo Toys Grand Opening and what you thought of it and uh if you're not in Glasgow um would you queue four hours just to get into a shop that's opened on that day? There's a question for everyone to answer. And until next time, guys, I will see you all later.